The Market Mystery by Dairy Council of California. Chapter One. What a beautiful sunny day it is, said Mom, looking up from the stove where she was making scrambled eggs. How nice it is that you two have a day off from school today. Emma looked out the kitchen window as she ate her bowl of hot oatmeal and grumbled. I wonder if it will be a boring day with nothing to do. Yeah, I'm already bored, agreed Robbie, licking the peanut butter on his English muffin. Well, kids, smiled Dad, looking up from the piece of paper he was scribbling on in front of his coffee and donut. I've been making our family grocery list. Since the two of you have nothing special to do today, how about going to Olivia's Market to pick up the foods on the list? Mom can drop you off on her way to work. Since I'm working at home today, you can call me when you're done, and I'll pick you up. Sure, Dad, said Emma, jumping up from the table. I love going to Olivia's Market. Come on, Robbie, let's go right now. Not so fast, Emma, laughed Mom. You and Robbie must first finish your breakfasts so that your bodies have enough food to give you energy for the whole morning. So Emma and Robbie sat back down to finish their breakfasts. They said goodbye to Dad and walked outside to Mom's car. Mom dropped the children at the store and waved goodbye. Emma and Robbie walked into Olivia's market with the family grocery list. How come so many of the shelves are empty, Emma? asked Robbie. I don't know, Robbie. Something's a little strange in here today. Here comes Olivia. Let's ask her. Hi, Emma and Robbie, said Olivia. What can I do for you today? Since Robbie and I don't have school today, we're doing the family food shopping, said Emma. But we see that a lot of the shelves are almost empty, Olivia. How come? That's because the trucks that bring fresh food to my market each morning haven't come today and I don't know why explained Olivia. I have to figure out what happened because everyone who shops in my market needs to buy and eat many different foods to stay healthy. Could we please help you figure out what happened to all the food? asked Robbie. Yes, please, Olivia, agreed Emma. We'd really like to help solve this market mystery. Well, I would really appreciate the help, said Olivia. Emma, Let's go call your dad to make sure it's okay for you and Robbie to spend the day with me. Great, cheered the children. As Emma and Olivia went to make the call, Robbie thought to himself, maybe today won't be so boring after all. We are going to go to each of the farms where the foods are grown, said Olivia. We will ask the farmers why the food wasn't delivered to my market this morning and You'll learn why each of those foods is so important for us to eat. Did you know that all the foods we eat are organized into food groups? I know what the food groups are, Olivia, said Emma. There are five food groups, milk and milk products, vegetables, fruits, grains, breads and cereals, and meat, beans and nuts. Some foods do not fit into the food groups and those are called extras like cookies, soda, and candy. Do you mean that all the foods we eat every day are found somewhere in the food groups? asked Robbie. That's right, said Olivia. On our trip today, you'll also see just how much work it takes to run a farm. The farmers get a lot of exercise every day, doing things like gathering crops, digging soil, raking, carrying bags of seeds, and climbing ladders. After they drove for a while, Emma suddenly sat up straight and looked out the window. Look, Robbie, she said. We're almost at the first farm. I see big trees and long rows of vegetables. Chapter Two Hello, Farmer Benjamin, said Olivia. Meet my friends, Emma and Robbie. We've come to find out why your delicious fruits and vegetables weren't delivered to my market this morning. I know how important my fruits and vegetables are to have in your market, Olivia, said Farmer Benjamin. Fruits, like oranges, 
have vitamin C to help our bodies heal. And vegetables, like carrots, have vitamin A to keep our eyes and skin healthy. It takes a lot of energy and hard work to grow all of our crops. My farm helpers and I pull vegetables out of the ground, climb tall ladders to pick the fruit off trees, dig soil, and plant new seeds. Farmer Benjamin turned to Olivia and said, Right now there are carrots and potatoes growing under the soil. But we don't have enough food for our plants. Without enough plant food, we can't grow enough fruits and vegetables for all the markets in the city, including yours, Olivia. Where does the plant food come from? asked Robbie. It comes from compost, which is a mixture of things like dry leaves, weeds, grass, food scraps, and manure, which is added to the soil, said Farmer Benjamin. All plants need sun, water, air, and healthy soil to grow, just as people need food or nutrients, water, and air to grow strong and healthy. I think we could figure out a way for you to get enough plant food, Robbie said. The children and I will try to think of a way to solve your problem on our way to the next farm, said Olivia. Hello, Rancher Kayla, said Olivia. Meet my friends Emma and Robbie. We've come to find out why your delicious meats, beans, nuts, and eggs weren't delivered to my market this morning. I know how important my foods are to have in your market, Olivia, said Rancher Kayla. Foods like meats, beans, nuts, eggs, and fish give us most of the protein our bodies need to help build strong muscles. This ranch has foods that fit into the meats, beans, and nuts food group, which come from animals like beef and chicken. And some of the foods come from plants. See our walnut trees and peanut plants over there? Rancher Kayla turned to Olivia. But without enough grain to feed my animals, I can't deliver enough fresh eggs and meat to all the markets in the city, including your market, Olivia. I think we could help you figure out a way to get enough grain, Emma said. The children and I will try to think of a way to solve your problem on our way to the next farm, said Olivia. Hello, Farmer Julian, said Olivia. Meet my friends, Emma and Robbie. We've come to find out why your delicious breads and grains weren't delivered to my market this morning. I know how important breads and grains are to have in your market, Olivia, said Farmer Julian. Breads and grains give us B vitamins, which we need for energy. Farmer Julian turned to Robbie and Emma. On this farm, we grow wheat, corn, and oat grains so that they can be made into foods for the grains, breads, and cereals food group. The grains are also used to make cereals like cornflakes and oatmeal, breads like rolls, muffins, and bagels, pasta like spaghetti and macaroni, rice and other foods made from flour, like tortillas, crackers, and even pancakes. I love spaghetti, giggled Robbie. I do too, Farmer Julian smiled. He turned to Olivia and said, but without enough room in my fields to grow more wheat, oats, and corn, I can't deliver enough breads and grains to all the markets in the city, including yours, Olivia. You see, I have a big field of hay that must be harvested so I can plant more grain. I can only deliver breads and grains to your market if all the hay is taken away. I think we could figure out a way to help you take away the hay, said Robbie. The children and I will think of a way to solve your problem on our way to the next farm, said Olivia. Hello, Farmer Tyler, said Olivia. Meet my friends, Emma and Robbie. We've come to find out why your delicious milk and milk products weren't delivered to my market this morning. I know how important milk and milk products are to have in your market, Olivia, said Farmer Tyler. Foods from the milk and milk products food group give us calcium for strong bones and teeth and other important nutrients to keep our bodies healthy and strong. On this dairy farm, we milk the cows and deliver the milk to a place where it is pasteurized and processed 
and then poured into containers which people buy at Olivia's Market. Some of the milk is made into other yummy foods like yogurt, cheese, pudding, and ice cream, which are also sold at Olivia's Market. Farmer Tyler turned to Olivia. But without enough hay to feed all my cows, they can't make enough milk for all the markets in the city, including yours, Olivia. I can only deliver milk and milk products to your market if I can get enough hay. I think we can figure out a way to get you enough hay, said Emma. That would be wonderful, said Farmer Tyler. Would the three of you like to join me for lunch? You must be very hungry after your morning travels. So Farmer Tyler made a tasty lunch of tuna fish sandwiches, apple and orange slices, carrot sticks, tomatoes, and milk. Hey, look, said Robbie, munching on his sandwich. We're eating foods from all the food groups. You're right, Robbie, said Emma. That's because we need to eat many different foods from each of the food groups every day. That way, we can get all the nutrients we need to grow, to be strong, have energy, and stay healthy. After lunch, Emma and Robbie talked about what each of the farmers had told them about why they couldn't deliver their foods to Olivia's market. First, said Robbie, Farmer Benjamin said he needs plant food for growing his fruits and vegetables. Next, rancher Kayla said she needs grain to feed her animals. Then, said Emma, Farmer Julian said he needs to harvest all that hay so he can grow more crops. And Farmer Tyler just told us that he needs more hay to feed all of his hungry cows. Suddenly, Emma and Robbie looked at each other and jumped to their feet at the same time. I figured it out, shouted Robbie. I figured it out, shouted Emma. Do you know what Emma and Robbie figured out? Chapter 3 The children ran to tell Olivia that they solved the market mystery. Each farmer can help another farmer so that they can deliver food to your market, Olivia, said Robbie. This is the solution, explained Emma. Farmer Julian will give all of his hay to Farmer Tyler's cows to eat so he can plant more grain. All of the grain he grows can go to feed Rancher Kayla's animals. Then Rancher Kayla will have enough plant food to give to Farmer Benjamin so he can grow enough fruits and vegetables. By helping each other, they will have enough food to deliver to Olivia's market. Wow, laughed Olivia. You two figured it all out. Because of you two, Olivia said, Olivia's market shelves will all be filled. Robbie took the family grocery list out of his pocket and suddenly cried out, Wait a minute, Olivia. We forgot something. Dad wrote cookies on the list. We still need to figure out how to fill the shelves in your market that hold things like cookies and cakes. You're right, Robbie, said Olivia. We forgot to find out why the bakery didn't deliver the extra foods. Extras are foods we eat sometimes for desserts or as snacks. They taste good, but they don't give us the nutrients our bodies need to grow strong and stay healthy. They're okay to eat sometimes, as long as we eat plenty of food group foods. Are we going to the bakery, Olivia? Emma asked. We sure are, said Olivia. Hello, Baker Isabel, said Olivia. Meet my friends, Emma and Robbie. We've come to find out why your desserts weren't delivered to my market this morning. I know that extras are sold in your market, Olivia, said Baker Isabel. Even though extra treats have more fat or sugar than nutrients, they're okay to eat once in a while. In this bakery, we make foods like cinnamon rolls, cookies, and tortilla chips. But I couldn't deliver my desserts and other extras 
to your market this morning, Olivia, because I didn't get my food deliveries from all the farmers and I don't know why. Baker Isabel, we have got a surprise for you, shouted Robbie. Then he and Emma explained how they solved the problem of the food deliveries. Baker Isabel was very happy to hear that she will be getting the foods she needed to make more of her bakery treats. As they pulled up in front of Olivia's market, Emma and Robbie saw five trucks, each unloading foods into the market. Look, pointed Olivia, the market shelves will all be filled today because you two solved the problem together. Now all the shoppers who come into your market will be able to buy foods from all five food groups. Then they can grow strong and stay healthy, right, Olivia? Robbie asked. That's right, Robbie, answered Olivia. Now, it's time to drive you two home. But before I do, come inside the market for a snack. Can we pick any food from the whole market? Asked Robbie. You can pick a healthy snack from one or more of the food groups, said Olivia. That way your snack will have nutrients and will give you energy. I choose a piece of cheese from the Milk and Milk Products food group and a tortilla from the grains, breads, and cereals food group, Robbie said. And I choose celery from the vegetables group and almonds from the meat, beans, and nuts group, said Emma. And I choose pineapple from the fruits group, said Olivia. We've all picked healthy snacks. After they finished eating their snacks, Olivia drove the children home. The children walked into the house carrying the food that was on Dad's grocery list. They could hardly wait to tell their parents about their day. Emma and Robbie each took turns telling about the places they visited and how they helped solve the food delivery problems. It sounds like you two had a wonderful day, smiled Mom. I have an idea, said Dad. How about if we invite to dinner Olivia, all of the farmers, and the baker that you met today? Then we could all share a meal together and hear more about how you two solved Olivia's market mystery. And so Emma and Robbie and their parents made dinner and invited Olivia, Farmer Benjamin, Rancher Kayla, Farmer Julian, Farmer Tyler, and Baker Isabel. What a delicious meal you've made for us, said Olivia. I see you've chosen foods from all the food groups. You've even made some things that have foods from more than one food group. That's right, said Rancher Kayla. These tasty enchiladas are a mixture of corn tortillas, meat, cheese, and sauce. They're a mixed food. And this yummy rice dish is a mixture of rice, vegetables, and nuts. It's another mixed food, said Farmer Benjamin. It all tastes wonderful. Sharing a meal together with friends and family is always a great way to end a day. The End <laughs>